Hello and welcome to the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Canopin Bowling Network. It's midweek 4 of 35. Paul Grant from Academy Lanes Pub 125. Along with me is for the first time is the general son, Alex Patton. He'll be doing the play-by-play -play in the second string. How's I'll be going, doing the guys? first and third. So it's Academy 1, 16 though to start. Last week they went 2 and 6, so they have fourth, the third seed right now, 18 and 6. Take on eighth seed, the visiting Lafayette Lanes out of Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury Mass, coming at 8 and 16. Two points for win, one for tie, four for total. John Lescarbro out of Butwell's Bowling Center in Concord, New Hampshire, has the five and ten. Here's Justin Scali, the captain for Academy One. Slams nine. He has the six. We'll talk to Alex after this box. Scarbro for his bid. Ooh, plays the one on the right. Knocks down the eight, but it doesn't go. So Alex making his debut here on Friday Night Pro League. Scali, a spare. Great start for the captain. His high three so far in two matches. They have a six-man rotation. Brian Fuller Jr. out tonight. Justin's high three this season so far, 333. Averaging 105.33 away, 108.17 at home. Plus Scarborough at nine. One pin lead for Academy One plus a ball. Hello, Alex. How's it going, Paul? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Should be a good match. Yes. Academy One resurgent. Academy One team all rebuilt. Last year or so, team chemistry a big factor. Why they're competing really good. The Scarborough nine himself. He's got the king, the five. Scally in the bonus right side seven, one two rearrange four seventeen through one in the first of three. The Scarborough angle piece of wood. No, roadblock. Bad piece of wood for John there. Scally for a two in a row. He missed right. Now in Salem, New Hampshire. Moved there recently. Justin, 40 years young. High single of 195. High triple of 457. High five of 706. Takes a nine. 26 through two. John the Scarborough pair of nines. He's from Tilton, New Hampshire, near Laconia, New Hampshire, near Andover in Franklin, New Hampshire. Richard from Salem, New Hampshire. He's a 124 highest average season. Currently 111 in his leagues, 188 high single, high triple 452, a high five of 698. Tomorrow's number five seed in the Kennel Prince for Kansas, any a variety style match. One ball, two ball, three ball, 369 fourth, and nine pin fifth is Justin Lyonnais. For Lafayette Lanes, he has the four horsemen in the eight. Matt Soucy, a lot of injuries last year, slowed him down. He's been hitting the pin really good, but punching a lot. Missed right. Wood sweeps down the four. He has the one, two, and the seven. We're on lanes five and six. Line eights missed behind. Got the eight. We are recording this match in case Wi-Fi is out. Soucy, two full again. Story of his season so far. A deadly bowler, 119 his best year. Justin wraps around the three and the 10 for an eight to start his match. Susie a nine. Are you, are you guys recording? Okay. Not live? Right now. Okay. Oh, so we are recording tonight. No Wi Fi. The router is not working here. So we have to record tonight. So we apologize. It's beyond our control. Matt Seuss, he called him Dr. Seuss. Here's the pocket shot there, a mini split, 2-5 in the 7. JT, another force from the 8, deja vu. He's going to win this time to hell, but he got it. 18 of the ball through 2, pumped up. He could put a bunch together. Seussie for a spare, 2 full again, slides by the 5. The train, the Haver line, late once again. What else is new? What a great bid, honestly. And Scott Douglas tried left the other match, Academy 3 of Dave Hodge Manlian's team against Millis. He's the number one seed tomorrow in Abington. 10 o'clock start live on YouTube on Canopin Bowling Network. Today, when you hear this broadcast, probably on Saturday. Susie at 10, 19 through 2. Every five blocks completed, Alex Patton will give us an update on the scores, the mark situations, and yada, yada, yada. 
Middle bowls, Kevin Gallagher, no relation to Mark Gallagher. Different spelling. Corey Lisa missed a can up in corner in the third spot for Academy One. 45-36, Academy One. The three seed leads the eight seed by nine. Gallagher on the left side, half Worcester, two in the eight. Corey, one, three, six, ten, four horsemen right. Oh, that's a Paul Grant shot right in the bunny hole. Many a shots like that. Corey, nice shot, spare. Ten of the ball to start his match. Bowling really good of late. From Salem, New Hampshire nowadays. Originally Methuen, Mass, next to Salem and New Hampshire and Meth Haverhill, Mass. And look at that. That's why I hate the half whistles here. In the bunny hole, you punch out the 1-9 or the 1-8. This time the 1-9 for a rare four. It is golf season still, but you don't want to get a four in Canlip and Bowling. It happens, though. How do you respond is the key. Academy 1 has the lead by 15. One mark each side. Gallagher trying to bounce back. Bounces left. Five. Corey in the bonus. Nine, ten, strike on spare. Wow, what a start. 20 through one. 30 in the ball through two. Plus two through two. I told you, this kid's getting better and better. Mr. Camp in corner on YouTube. Featuring Skin Season 1, Episode 9. Out of Lita Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. Him and Jordan Britton, co-host. Canop and Skins. It's on Canop and Corner on YouTube. Free to subscribe. As well as Canop and Bowling Network on YouTube with close to 1,300 videos. Directed by Bob Lee. And now a five after four. Yikes. Nine through two for Kevin Gallagher. Want to get away. All right. Alex, talk about Utah. You're bowling the Atlantic Canop and Singles Tour Class D. You made the playoffs last year as the fourth seed. Yeah, so I'm ACST Class D this year. Zimit last year kind of threw away my lead. All right, Chris Kaznade, the captain, they call him Kaz. The Kaz, has a lemon drop for Josh Rio. There it is. I didn't say a word. I didn't say a word. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> not to sell next to house to pay that one dollar. Josh Rio, the realtor. Put a buck in, Josh. That's one dollar on the sixth pin on the right, fourth pin on the left, second left, one dollar for Campus for Cancer, five on a spare strike, ten on the double strike. Helping ten families last two years just on the lemon drop pool alone. I don't have to be around to collect your lemon drop money. You can do it by CandlePinsForCancer.com. CandlePins number four, Cancer.com. As Kaz gets the spare. And Rio stuck in the three box. Wow, a five, four, and a three so far for the Pro Bowlers combined. Yeah. What a crazy game. I've got four, four, four one time, I think, in the match. That's, that's pretty bad. Kaz in the bonus, 1, 3, 6, 7, 16 through 1 in the spare. Rio trying to bounce back, got three and three balls, gets seven here in the first ball of the second box, first string, and Wood to help, 2, 7, 8 on lane 5, back to lane 6. The Kaz man, the captain for Lafayette Lanes, trying to kick it over for a spare, and he got it. He goes back to back, 26 in the ball through to Rio. He will get it to go. Eight falls last. Nice bounce back in that three to a spare. 13 the ball through two. That's how you do it. And his walk on left thinner too. <laughs> Fourth uh, anchor ball is coming up. The Bulldogs, Jeff Walsh. Oh, no, you got that nickname from Alex. And Sean Landry on the right. I just wonder. Walsh rifles down nine. Okay, I'm sorry, Landry got nine. Here's Walsh now. Walsh has a six pack. Check his ID. Sean with a break on the right side. The 6'10 fell down. Sean Landry in the orange shirt. Jeff Walsh in the teal shirt. Landry for a spare. He got it. Who needs the wood? Sharpshooter. Water marks early in the first. Walsh trying to work out of it. Half Worcester. He has the 1-5 sent to West to the 4-7 left. Canop and Bowling Network on YouTube. Free to subscribe. Never a charge. Close to 1,300 videos. Please subscribe. Tell your friends and family. Canop and Bowling Network on YouTube. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. And a pretty 10 for the bulldozer. 
And the story behind that nickname was like at Riverwalk Lanes last year, I was checking up the nickname he wanted, and he plowed through a bunch of wood for a spare, so I said, that's a bulldozer shot. He liked it, and it stuck. Nicknames must be approved. Landry, 1-3-6. Walsh off to the right this time. 1-2-8, not bad for missing that pin. Update from Alex Patton after this box. Landry missed left. 17-1 at that spare seven. Walsh just missed right. Academy one has the lead on the left. Those flip flip flop. Every two boxes. And that's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. Some put a doll off. Count for cancer. That's for Sean Landry. 27 through two. Walsh a nine. 19 through two. That means it's time for an update from Alex Patton. Alex. All right, through the first two boxes of each bowl, we have an early six pin lead for Academy one. Both teams have two marks to fill. But Academy one has one extra box, or one extra ball, thanks to Corey's strike. Corey's the high man on both teams, sitting at 30 plus two. Chris Cash, 26 plus a ball. Breaking news, Mike Machichi's in the house. The Cheech man's in the house. He's, he's too bashful to talk in the microphone. He's very bashful, that guy. <laughs> Back to live action. John Lescarbro, nine. Scally, five, seven on lane six. Lane five, Lescarbro. L-E-S-C-A-R-B-E-A-U. -E Lescarbo. Justin Scott with Wood. He will get it. The fall. His first, second mark. Hit a spare 7-9. Now a spare. 36 in the ball through three. In the first of three. Lescarbo. Ski ball shot. Going for the 50. The 100. It won't go. Derek Bankus in his league over here. Putting in $5 for Calum Fitzgerald Cancer for Lemon Drops. See him Sunday here against Jordan Britton, 4 o'clock on the ACST Facebook page. Lascarbo wasn't there for a 9, three nines to start his match. Academy 1 has the lead right now by 7. Two marks for each side. All spares. No. No strike yet, Alex. Scally, 2 1 split, 2 4 in the 6. No strike yet, huh? Oh, that's right. That's all. Yeah, Corey, that's right. Corey's the strike and spare. Duh. Let me get you this new scoreboard. Let me see the scoreboard here. It's totally revamped. Scally, 7 fill, 43 through 3, trying to bounce it over with the wood in a great effort. Let's have a golden chance with the 1 and the 2. Wood behind. He missed left. The wood slides around. Won't go. He's frustrated with that shot. Didn't hit the object pin. Galley at 10, the captain 53 through 4 on Canopin Bowling Network. Le Scarbo, a 9, 4 9s, playing poker. It's a good hand. 36 through 4. 134, 119. Academy 1, 18 and 6. The third seed leads Lafayette, 8 and 16. The eighth seed coming in. Lafayette trying to get the playoffs first time in a while. The old Academy 3, now Lafayette Lanes, won it three seasons ago. Championship as a seventh seed. Justin Lyon A's on the pocket with an eight drop. He's got the two and the four. That's on a spare, 26 through two. Matt Susi, you get a lemon drop too? That's $2 for Caleb for Cancer. Love it. JT off right. Susie an 8, 27 through 3. JT a 9. 35 through 3. Yeah, the scoreboard's off sometimes, Alex. Yeah, keep it on that scoreboard. Yeah, this system's a little bit finicky. I was talking, another one. It's a two lemon drops in a row. I love it. $3 for Canon for Cancer. All on Academy side. I'm sure, Matt's thrilled about that. Try to bounce back. Miss left. Still five to go. JT, 4 7 8 in the first. Ends up with a 2 5 10 split. Trying to get a 10 out of this somehow.
Susie, nice bid, nice out. He'll take an eight out of that mess. 35 through four, JT and eight. Justin Lyon ace, 43 through four. Third ball is coming up. Academy 1 still has the lead. It's down to 7 right now. They get marks in their favor. Alisi, double strike. Wow, what a start. Spare double strike. Mr. Ken up in corner. Strikes through literally. A check mark for Kevin Gallagher at a 4 8 start. I thought it was a 5. It was a 4 and an 8, not a 4 and a 5 start. Gallagher can't uncheck it. Oh, Willie. Oh, it's close to the 5. Corey on fire. Like I guess he's pulling great lately. They picked up steam the second half of last season. Gallagher with the wood. It falls down. And that's a 10. 22 through 3 in the first of 3. Every Friday night in the 35-week season, Kenneth and Morning Network will be there live or recorded on Facebook and or YouTube. Players to follow. This is week 4 of 35. For a triple strike, he goes right and gets 6, maybe 7. It's 7. 27 the first double strike box. 47 through two, 57 the ball in the third. Outstanding. This can go. Try to go inside that head pin on the left, that wood in front of the 4-7. He missed the head pin, and he gets eight on the second strike box, double strike box, 65 through three. Kevin Gallagher gets a spare. After a rough start, 32 in the ball through four. Corey Lisi, nine. 74 through four, the power of the double strike. Caddy one ups the lead to all of a sudden to 30. 194, 164. Two marks to one for Lafayette in their favor. Plenty of time left here in the first of three. Central three extra tie for first place. Tiebreaker is pinfall. So Central three of 22 and two leads extra. 22 and 2, the first, second place. Academy 1, third, 18 and 6, Central 1, 16 and 8. Rio, 2, 4, 6, 10. After a three box, a spare 6, 19 through 2. Chris Kasnave, spare 6, now a spare 5, 31 through 2. What a try by Rio, slides behind the 6, 10. Couldn't slide it down. Kaz, beautiful ball, but too full. Look at this lead, 4, 9, 10. Fifth seed, Hingham, 15 and 9. Academy 2, 12 and 2. Academy 3, 10 and 14. Lafayette 8 and 16, the top eight early in this season. Josh in 9, 40. Uh, correction, 30 through 3. Is that correct? 28 through 3, make it. He has an 8, 39 through 3. Okay, scoreboard's corrected. Alex Patton with a play-by-play, -play, the entire second string. Alex, a great guy, the general Patton's son. Brian Patton, ACST in the conference finals the last two years, fell short. Great guy, like father, like son, Alex Patton here with me tonight. Pleasure with you again, Alex. True gentleman in class act. Rio with the word, he got it! 36, make it 48. Is it 38 in the ball through four? Kaz drills another mark. 49 in the ball through four. Now, I was talking to Andy Medeiros uh, last week here during the Pro Series, the Pro Series doubles, and um, he said that the, 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 the new scoring system is not level with the floor of the lanes, so they're trying to work on that. Make some adjustments, but. The Bulldogs, Jeff Walsh, 19 through two. Sean Landry, spare seven, and a 10 to start. Drops nine, six pin for a spare. Walsh missed number one. Landry, clean shot with wood to help. Won't go. Too much wood, Paul. It, it could have gone around, but not easy to do. Jeff has a 398 high three this season, averaging 115.33 away, 121.11 overall. 
Landry, Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third. Not a good time for that unless you're winning. 37 through three, Walsh at 10, 29 through three. Update from Alex Patton after this box. Jeff threw a 363 last week. Sean Landry had a 373 last week. Just 94.67 overall, but 109.50 on the road is one match. Only his third match in four weeks. Tough lead for Walsh. He's got that wood that maybe bounced around. Won't be easy. Ricochet shot for a spare. Give it a try. Give it a good old ride. He wouldn't go. Landry missed right. One, two, and the nine. Academy 1 has led pretty much, has led all the way through. No deficit yet. Walsh a 9, 38 through 4, without a mark, good pinning. Sean Landry a 9, 46 through 4. Time for an update from Alex Patton. All right, top of the order, Justin Scally on lane five for Academy One, the third seed. Thin edge is two. Strong start, 53 through four. John Lascava, four nines to start. This goes more than you think. Three, six, ten. And the wood behind helps the side pin to go. The 10 would last. Usually that goes first before the other pin and back. Gets a giggle out of that one on the board. 46 in the ball through five. Scaling the object won't carry much. Four, seven, five, ten. Scally, nice out, takes three of the four. That's a pro nine. 62 half, not bad. The Academy has the lead, 247, 216 on Canopin Bowling Network, the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week. Executive producer is Bob Lee. Match next Friday night to be determined. Being a pulse midweek. Scarborough, tough leave, 697. Right to left, Scally. Five and the ten. Wood rolling around. Four pieces right now to deal with. John up to 53 at the half. Trying to get two in a row. Missed outside. So two strikes to match. Bowling to Corey Co Alisi. Kenna Mr. Kenneth in corner. Scally knocks it down for a spare. His third mark, 72 in the ball through six. John Lascarbo takes an eight, 61 through six. Other teams, nine through 12, Metro, six and 18, Ryan Zamilla, six and 18, Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury Mass, six and 18, Central two. Disappointing start for them, three and 21, going through some lineup changes. But they're always in the playoffs every year, usually. Think about this sport. Anybody can win any given day, any given night, any given year. Just try to get in the playoffs. The top eight of 12 make it. Just get in and maybe you can win. Susie drops nine. Wood turns around. The five. Fall strike. 45 plus two through five. All the strikes born to Academy One. Justin Line is with a spare after a two drop. Second spare, 53 in a ball through five. Oh. Strike bid, almost. Nine pin holds up. Nine drop in the fill. 62 for half of JT. Susie first ball on the strike goes left. Splits five and two. JT. Oh, how did not go? Wrong side of the wood. Shakes his head. He threw three strikes, Alex, and that one ball 
tournament. The count puts for Kansas. The first string is one ball. He had three strikes in that first string. If he gets those in the three, six, nine, the nine pin string, he could be the number one seed. He's the fifth seed Saturday, tomorrow, after the day after this broadcast. At Webster Tim Lane's Abington, Massachusetts, home of the chocolate chip cookie pizza. Alex, you gotta try the chocolate chip cookie pizza. It's awesome. I need to try it. Have it it's down pizza yet. size, just chocolate chip cookie, nothing else. JT Apollo Grand Special missed the second, make the third. A 10, 72 through 6. Susie, 9 in the fill, 54 half, 10 in the box, 64 through 6. And Corey Lisi, spare six, strike, strike. 9, 74 through 4. What a great feeling you start like that. You ever start a match like that, Alex? That's a good feeling. Kevin Gallagher, four horsemen in the nine. On the spare, five. 37 half at a four box to start. Alisi back in the head pin. Six middle, nine left, ten right on the triangle. Over his fourth mark in five boxes. Gallagher flies over the nine. Wouldn't come down for a landing. Denied two in a row. Alisi, oh, tough break in the object. How did that go? Nine pin being stubborn. Gallagher, friendly fire for a 10. 47 half. Corey a 10. One pin left in the deck. 83 half. First of three strings. Friday Night Pro League, game of the week. Academy one, Lafayette, three versus eight. The eight seed Lafayette, banana split. Where's Casey McCool? Always hungry for banana splits. <laughs> Corey Lisi, another triangle, opposite side. This time it's the two middle, four left, five right. 45% the going rate to convert without wood stats by Canopin Bowling Network. Gallagher trying to kick it over somehow, great bid. At least another mark. Again gets robbed. Wow. Any luck at five out of six? Hit the object pin. Nothing wrong with that. Gallagher <laughs> off the banana split. It's a 10. 57 through six in the first of three. Alisi off to the right at nine for the second time. 93 through six. Outstanding performance so far. Josh Rio has two spares after three blocks to start. He's at 38 and a ball through four. Chris Kasney, the captain, Kaz, the Kaz man. Two spares to start, an eight box in the third, now a spare in the fourth, 49 in the ball. <laughs> Lafayette trying to make a statement tonight. Just missed the pocket, knocks down seven as the three falls down, 1 6 10, 56 through four. Rio, the realtor, on the bonus, just missed right. Wood takes down the two, the seven, the wobbling four holds up left. One in front, 10 right corner. 45 through four. Kaz, oh, what a try. Wood spins around but runs out of real estate. Talk to Rio about that one. Nice shot, it goes, how about that one? Back to back, three out of five. 55 of the ball through five for the realtor. Kaz a nine. It's a 10. Oh, it's a 10. I couldn't see it. Sorry. And it's a 10 drop and one ball strike. So 66 half, 76 plus two through six. The Kazman. Do it. Oh, what a try. Got it all on. Wow. Three rocks in a row. 61 half, 71 of the ball through six. He started with a three box. That's how you do it, folks. Rio. Rio ripping it up here in Haverhill, Mass. At Academy Lanes, pub 125. Sean Landry, the anchor bowler, 46-4 with a clip-wing eagle. 
The Bulldogs are Jeff Walsh, nine. Leads up to seven. 38 through four for him. Sean, 46 through four. Same spot for Landry. Academy one has the lead. Coming into this box by 31. Re Walsh, ooh, just missed right. Look at shot by Mike Nardone, our clone on the left side. In the red shirt, the other match. And Walsh, same spot for a nine. Consistent. It was a nine. Okay, so it was a nine by Kaz. Thank you, Justin. I thought of so. I know my eye, I have good eyesight usually. So 65 for Kaz, 75 plus two. Well, I'm, right, I'm right once in a while. Walsh 48 half, Landry 53 half. Alex an update after this box, so we call him the second string. Landry 7, 9, 10, Wood to possibly help. On the cross of Walsh, friendly Wood in front of the 2, 5, 9, 10 right corner. For a spare. Oh, the Wood spun around, just couldn't quite get to the 10. Jeff trying to bulldoze it through, and it flies over the 10 somehow. Tough break, great shot. No marks yet, but solid pinning usually leads to marks eventually, unless you're me. Landry at 10, 63 through six. Walsh at 10, 57 through six. Only one pin left in the deck. Was that 10? Yeah. Showing nine. Oh, there it goes, okay. Rio's there. Okay. Rio's there. All right, they got it fixed. All right, that means update from Alex Pat and Alex. All right, update through six. County one sitting at 357 plus 29 on Lafayette 328. Lafayette has a strike from Chris Kaz, but Academy one has two marks, a spare from Scally and a spare from Josh Rio. Scally's on a spare again. Just missed left. Wood bounces down a couple more. Three more go. It's the one of the six, and Wood in between to help. The Scarborough with nine has the kingpin, the five. He had 61 through six, just up to 80 through six. For another one. Bang! 90 to ball through seven. The Scarborough missed right. It's all Academy one here in the first so far. Plenty of time left for Lafayette to catch up. Past the halfway point. John a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. That's three tonight we've seen. Put a buck in. 71 through seven. Mike Grimm proud of the Atlantic Handle singles to a class A. He's putting a dollar in for every, every box that's not a 10 strike or a spare. Thank you, Mike Grimm Prado. Scally, seven more. Three, six, wobbling 10. Wood to help for another one. 97 through seven, going for three in a row. John, only four that time. Caddy went out of the gate, red hot this year. Slowed down a little bit last week, two and six. Another spare bid, no, got robbed. Wow, Corey got robbed twice, Justin got robbed there by the wood. John, four down, six to go, great try, and the 10 won't go for him either. What's up with the 10 pin tonight? Scally, nice pinning, 10, 107 through eight. John Lescarbro turns around for a 10. 81 through 8. 392, 348, a 44 pin lead for Academy 1. One mark for each side. A strike for Lafayette on the left, one spare for Academy 1 on the right. Matt Susi, 64 through 6. Another head pin, a typical split for him. 3 6, 4 left. Justin Line is JT, only three, the 6-9-10, 72 through six coming in. Now yeah, try, bounced it over somehow. Got in the middle. JT can't get the three to go. Susie, good try, gets two for nine. 73 through seven in the first of three. JT on the face for a 10. 82 through seven on Canopin Bowling Network. The any doubles, 95% handicap tournament starts this week. 
Wednesday, October 2nd, Thursday, October 3rd, 12 noon at the ICBA Championships on Kenneth Moe Nibbert with Greg Guiar and myself, October 5th at 12 noon, 3.30. The inning doubles continues at 3.30. Sunday, September 6th, 12 noon. Final two rounds Saturday, October 12th, 12 noon, 3 p.m. Register Candlepins number 4, cancer.com. Candlepins number 4, cancer.com. Any doubles, Scarborough, Maine, Big 20. Great place to bowl. Great ownership of Mike Walker. $60 a bowler, 120 a team. Averages based on your winter ending average. Unlimited entries are allowed for $60. Time will go to Candlepins for cancer. Susie, nice shot. Again, the 10 pin won't go. So many close calls. JT, the same spot. Susie at 10. 83 through 8. JT, nice out. And that's a tough ball. Grant Special misses the second, make the third. 90. Let's see what he has there. 92 is correct. 92 through 8. Corey Lisi stealing the show so far. 93 through 6. Kevin Gallagher on the left, 57 through 6. Justin Skelly has four spares. Corlisi had a spare to start a double strike and drops eight in a friendly wood. Six and ten. Gallagher steals the head pin. Not a head pin hit officially, but it is a split. The Queen board the Star Trek character, seven of nine. Alisi, another spare. 103 in the ball through seven. Who is this guy? He's Mr. Canlepin Corner on YouTube. Free to subscribe with Jordan Britton featuring Canlepin Skins. Gallagher, ah. Oh. And no more occasional, very occasional podcasts. Those podcast days are over, they said. Gallagher, 10. Fifth, make it 67 through seven here in the first. Check out the Pub 125 now in its third year. Delicious, high-quality pub-style food. Delicious pizza, burgers, wraps. Love the pretzels. Full bar. Gorgeous looking. Academy Lane, 725 South Main Street in the Bradford section of Haver, Mass. At Academy Lane. Another strike! Bombs away, baby! On fire! Corey Lisi literally strikes again. A lemon drop for Kevin Gallagher. Another dollar for Camel Prince for Cancer. Four dollars tonight. Helping 10 families the last two years alone, just in the lemon drop pool. Gallagher, 1 3 as he 9 falls down. Corey, 1 13 through 7, 1 23 plus 2 and 8, 3 strikes, 2 spares in the string. Kevin, nice 10 off the lemon drop start, 77 through 8. Josh Rio, speaking of being red hot, he's got three marks in a row. He's at the right side, 71, the ball through six. The Casby on the left, he's on a strike after a spare. Two blocks before that, a nine in the middle, 75 plus two through six. Josh has four spares here. Check mark, six in the fill. Kaz, a couple of wobbling pins hold up. Four down, six to go. Rio, 77 through six. Remember, he started with the three blocks. Front of the mark, missed up left that time. Two, five, and the seven. Kaz trying to convert this somehow. Great shot. The wall got it. What a shot for a spare. Sliding off the wall, sliding it down. 95 in a ball through seven. Rio, nice pinning, a nine, maybe a 10. Just missed left. I'd rather write to the 7 and 9. 86 through 7. Anchor ball is up next. Rio off to left. 5. Kaz. Left side. 4 2 split. On the spare. 4. 99 through 7 in the first of three. Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Massachusetts, Pub 125. Great place to bowl. A lot of the juniors here. Biggest program around. Nice try by Rio. Can't get to the eight somehow. Good bid. Cavs, tough leave. Missed right. 1 4 7.
We are on for a 10, 96 through eight. The Casman, nice 10, 109 through eight. Leading his team so far. Final two boxes before the final two boxes for each bowl in the first. Jeff Walsh on the right. Sean Landry on the left. 466, 419, officially 468 to 419. Caddy One has been leading since the first ball, our first box, with Justin Spear seven. Never trailed. Two points for a win, one for tie, two for total, week four, 35. Jeff Walsh overdue for a mark, 57 through six without one. 4 2 split. Sean Landry has 63 through six. He had a spare seven to start, nothing since. Ed Pinnett has the triangle. 3 5 6. Walsh, good bid, two full, got the one and eight. Landry for a spare. No. Walsh, oh, nice shot. That's a wow 10. 10's don't get enough love, Alex. That's a great shot. Remember that one, 67 through seven, still no marks. Great, great pinning. Sean Landry in nine, 72 through seven. Time running out. Outside chance still, 35 pins down for Lafayette on the left. Oh, they got no marks on the board. A strike for Corey Lisi, Mr. Canopin corner for Academy One. Walsh, a chance for the Wiggling Five. Landry, not himself, he has the six. Walsh takes up the king, spare on the board. Case in point, you may call your next witness, 76 in the ball, make it 77 in the ball through eight. Landry's turn for a spare. That goes 82 in the ball through eight. Second spare of the string. Update from Alex Patton, top of the order, final two boxes. All right, going back to the top of the order, we have Academy One at a 45 pin lead over Lafayette. Both teams have at least one mark. Lafayette has one John Landry. Academy One has two. Strike no Corey Lisi on a slammering 123. Jeff Walsh 77. Talk to Josh Real, the realtor, in just a moment over here, Josh. John Lascarbo drops eight. Justin Scally, good string, seven, one, three. So let's bring in um, Josh Real, the realtor. Josh, how you doing? Come over here, let me, come over here. Just put the list boxes over, actually. Lascarbo, spare. Second one of the string, 91 of the ball through nine. Trying to get his team to come back. Scally missed right. Josh Rio, the realtor, how you doing tonight? PG, talk to you, what's going on, buddy? Uh, thank, uh, talk about the poet, talk about the poet and the realtor, Josh Rio. Oh, well, there's are two different people in a way, you know? You're a three-pro, you're a three-headed monster. There's you, there's the poet, and you're the realtor. That's true, I have many more personas as well, but that's a secret between you and I for the time being, my friend. I, don't, I won't say what I want to live. Yeah, my, my poetry, there's a long line to get in my, to get in my poems. And they may or may not be, I don't know, rated X, rated R, a little um, PG, PG, PG. It's me you're talking to. It's like PG Bali, my friend, huh? You don't think PG here is your name, Paul Grant, I'm talking to you right now. That's it. All right? That's the poems. You know, there's a waiting list for those, but I'm a very busy man right now because I'm doing my real estate right now as well. John, you know? six in the spare. Scally for a oh, strike. Nine. Get over Ten strike. Oh, look at that, huh? Ten. One box to call about a strike. Another word for a while right there. Another one more word for that. So talk about your realty business. What's up, buddy? Talk about your realty business. Oh, so I've been busy right now. I've got a couple of listings coming up. So I'm a licensed realtor in Mass in New Hampshire. <laughs> so anyone who's looking to buy or sell or even rent, I can help out. Uh, in addition to that, I do some real estate investing as well. I do some fix and flips uh, right now with my business partner, Dan Goldoni. So we're busy with that too right now as well. So what you're saying is you can afford your $1 lemon drop tonight. I can. You want to know why? Because Brian Fuller had the audacity to bet me a doll last week in a box. Of course I beat him. So there we go. You can thank Brian Fuller for that, for that doll. <laughs> Uh, double eight. strike oh, bid! Almost. Yeah, nah, almost. Almost right there, huh? I right, finish the call. Come on, finish the call here, uh, Josh. I'm not as good as you, are, my friend. I leave the poetry to me and the commentating to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Scout's going to pick this up. Get the Widows of God right there. Should be able to 
Take that down for 136. Oh, Scout, I can't play the wood. That was my first time playing wood. How about a 135? Next time, Justin Scally. 135, fine, for a string for the captain. 136, my friend. 136, make it, sorry. 135, they corrected him. They corrected us, this is 135. Yeah, 135. Not bad. Held the score for my leadoff ball and I captain for a captain. What's, what's been the deal? I know it's early. It's only the fourth match of the season. But you guys started 16 and 0, 2 and 6 last week. You're in third place. What's been the difference out of the gate this year? It's confidence, honestly. Um, it's more confidence, Paul. We, we know uh, we never count ourselves out. We can be down by 30, 40, 50 in a match. It doesn't matter. It's not over until it's over. And I think we've invented that confidence of the whole team. And that gets us going. It's a domino effect and it's contagious as well. And what I'm told is you're the roving bowler for your team this year. You're blowing all different spots this year. Yes, exactly. So last year I was in the I was in the leadoff spot, the middle spot, and then, and then down to the two hole. But I want to switch things up this year, Paul. You know, so we have a six-man rotation. So I plug in pretty much when someone's out. You know, so if I first bowls out, I bowl first. If I second bowls out, I bowl second, so on and so forth. And you want a six-man like rotation? Yes, I like it. Yeah. I need my rest. I'm getting older, Paul, you know? Yeah, there you go, Susie. How are you up there? Spare for the Dr. Seuss. That's right, Doctor. 93 and a ball through nine, the first of three. Talking to Josh Real, the real to the poet, and you know it. Justin Scowley drinking coffee at 8.30 at night. How nice. That's great. He'll be doing an all-nighter. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be up all night. He'll be busy all right. Stussy, yeah, one spare, one strike. <laughs> Josh, how can they contact you by a house, rental, or whatever they want to do? So they have my, fa my Facebook. It's Josh Rio. You could DM R me. R-I-O? Yep. Short for Rio, pal. Correct. That's correct. But it's under Rio. Yep. Rio my, the Realtor, yeah. My Instagram handle is Realtor Rio. And then uh, you could, you could uh, text or call me, 978-590-2741. That number again. 978-590-2741. And that number again. <laughs> uh, one last time, third time, third time. Oh, Sue's going to up there. Back to back to Sue's. 590-2741. All right. Or you could email me at joshriosimscity at gmail.com. One more time for that. joshriosimscity at S -I -M -S. gmail.com. S-I-M-S. S-I-M-E-S. -E okay. All right. Thank you, Josh. Good luck. BG, thanks, my friend. A the real to Josh Rio. All right, Alex, give us up to date while we're away. What a commentary by Josh Rio. Josh Rio's a funny guy. Nice finish from Matt Susie on the spare. JT, a nice finish for him at the spare seven. 119, first string. Did it with three marks. Susie with the 111, fine finish. John Lescarbo at a 107, lead off for Lafayette is trailing right now by 47 in Miracle Zone to win the first string. Gallagher missed the target. Corey on a strike for the third time, a double earlier, nice second ball. 10 leads tonight, it goes! Whoa! When you're it, hot, you're hot. It doesn't count, you don't watch it, Corey. Spare on strike, what a funny game. Take it while you can. 133 through eight, how about 143 to ball in the ninth? Can you say drug test? <laughs> uh, Mr. Candle up in corner on fire here in Haverhill, Mass. Gallagher 10, 87 through nine, that should clinch it for the first two points. That'll bring him up to 20 and 6 up to date in the standings. Lafayette. 8 and 18 up to date now. Corey slams the pocket. The 10 doesn't go in the 9 this time. What's up with that? <laughs> but two pieces. Angle shaped T Wood. Going to give it a ride. 151 through 9. Going with a season high for the league so far for another one. Oh, wow. He's got robbed three times. I mean, that wasn't easy, but he missed. He had two triangles, Alex, right in the pocket. Didn't go. Gallica, Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. 10, 97 string. Corey at nine. How about a 160 first string? 160 for Canop and Corner. Was that a nine or an eight? Corey? Nine. Okay. 160. 160, not bad, Alex. Yeah, he beat my high single by one. Mine's 169. Good for him. 
That is a great feeling. And with that 160, he's now second. Danny Harris at a 172 a couple weeks ago for Central 3. Keith Bullpray now third, 156. Jonathan Boudreau, 153 with Waters World, Justin Waters. And Petey Peak, Peter Crawford Jr. has a 153. Joe Smith and Tim Jim and Jalbert of Academy 2 have a 150 also. 160 for Corey Lisi. Outstanding. And he had three strikes and three spares, right? I do believe so. Let's see. Yep. Yep, that looks like it's correct. Chris Kasnave had a decent string, 109 through 8. 6 and the 7. It's Nate, 117 through 9. Josh Rio, we just spoke to. Got to go with the wood, a wood shooter, 106 through 9 in the 10 box. Three boxes left, two strings after this. Alex Patton on the play by play, the middle string. Making this Kenneth and Boeing Network debut in the Friday Night Pro League game of the week. Yep. Great to have you, Alex. Kaz, yeah, look at this leaf. Five and the seven useless piece of wood, I think, to the right. Rio slams nine. Ten strike. His first strike of the string. 116 of the ball and two balls in the tenth make it. Four spares, one strike. Oh, shit. Kaz, nothing there. Trying to at least get one to 126. Decent start. He had two spares to start, four in the string. A correction, three spares, one strike in the string. Nine, 125, decent string for Chris Kasnave, the captain for Lafayette. Rio in the pocket and the bonus, wrapping up his first with an eight fill, 124. He's on a strike, actually, so another chance. So it's Nate, like I said, 124. Four spares, one strike. Not bad. The average Class A ball, the 120 average, it gets 3.1 spares of string, 0.9 strikes. Stats by Kenneth and Bowling Network. Jeff Walsh, Sean Landry, both on spares. 82 for Sean, 77 for Walsh. Two strings after this. Big win. 6.07 already for Academy 1. 5.30 for Lafayette. It was close for a while. Six in the field for Landry. 88 through eight. Eight's a wild. 8.88. Eight, eight. Walsh moves seven. 2.47. 84 through eight. Landry, good try. Won't go. Five in the... Uh, correction, two in the six. Walsh for a spare. Perfect shot. He got it. Back to back. 94 to ball through nine. Adding to the lead. Sean Lindy gets the ball to knock down the right side for a 10. 98. 98 through 9. Last box of the first. 624 to 546. A thumping by Academy 1. They've come to play tonight, folks. Landry 4-1 split. Walsh, 1, 2, 9, 10. Not happy with that shot. That's on a spare. 100 through 9. And Kevin Gallagher for Lafayette Star with a full ball. He pinned really well. Had 97 with one mark. Pretty good. Sean trying to get to 108. And does the wood. 108 first string. Walsh a 9, 109 for a string. Update the totals from Brian, uh, Brian Patton's son, Alex Patton. The general son, Alex Patton. All right, string 1, we had 639 Academy 1, 556 Lafayette. Academy 1 has a big 83 pin lead for string 1. That's a good lead. 73 pins, is it? 83, right? 83, wow. I'll try. High score on Academy 1 was you're watching Canop and Boeing Network's presentation of Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Canop and Boeing Network on YouTube in high definition, free to subscribe, never a charge. Please welcome, making this Canop and Boeing Network on the Friday Night Pro League edition, Mr. Alex Patton with play-by-play -play for the entire second string. I'll be back on the third. Alex.
How's it going, guys? I'm going to be doing a play by three. A play. Just muted Maul, uh, Paul here. Been doing a lot of talking lately. I became a teacher. So, might mispronounce some words. That's why I gave the kids a quiz today. Needed something to do. Scally on the right, leaving up the 1, 2, 4, 8, 6, 10. Good bid, leaving up the 2, 10. John Escarbo with a triangle on the left side. Gonna chop out the five. Both bowlers looking for an out here. Scally, start with the 10 box. Here we see Lascarbo. Ooh, off the wall for his 10. Both bowlers 10 through one. Scally on the head pin, leaving up the triangle middle, the 5-8-9. Lascarbo in the 1-2 pocket, leaving up the 5-9. All right piece of wood if he wants to play it. Scally takes his wood, doesn't carry to the 8, ball goes back and forth, still no action. Lascarbo's wood sat a little bit high. He'll probably try and play that high and try and take it out. And he does spare for Lascarbo. All right, Scally 19 through two. Lascarbo 20 plus a ball. Early one pin lead for Team Lafayette in this string. The match on our left side is Academy three versus Millis. And it looks like Millis has a big 552 to 499 advantage right now due to a big 145 string by substitute Kevin Dietrich. Susie on the right side, lane six. In the pocket, also leaving up the 589 triangle. JT, diamond left side. Again, bad piece of wood coming out. Making these shots a lot harder for these bowlers. Matt Susie, nice bid, leaves up the eight. JT punches through the diamond, starting with a spare. Ten for Matt Susie. I remember Academy One had a massive 82 pin lead after that first string. Uh, hell of out of that. So they're gonna be looking to step back in. Team Lafayette wants to try and take this lead back, make it a good third string. Susie off left, leaving up the one three. JT on his fill, off on the two pin. Gets the whole four horsemen on the right side. Good break. We'll take 16 through two, or 16 through one, after the spare fill. Matt Susie all over it, 20 plus a ball through two. JT down the line for his spare. All right, now we have Corey Alisi and Kevin Gallagher up. Corey looking to keep his big string going. Off left, leaving up the six pack. Kevin Gallagher, Wood dances between the pins, leaving up the four horsemen left side plus the nine ten. Corey, nice try, tries to run the four horsemen, leaving up the 510. Kevin Gallagher, everything but the nine. Corey will take a nine box to start. Kevin looking to pin out the nine pin. All over it for 10.
These are some of the best bowlers in the game right now. Friday Night Pro League. Boy, back on the head pin. Leaves up the four. We'll be shooting a single for his spare. Kevin Gallagher. Again, dancing around. This time leaves up the one, three, seven, eight. Corey, nice head pin ball, but that was already gone. Four pin remains. Kevin Gallagher, same shot, other side. Leaves up the eight this time. Corey, 10, 19 through two. Kevin Gallagher, all over it for another 10, 20 through two. Next up in the order, we have Chris Kaz and Josh Rio. Josh Rio will be on the right side. Chris Kaz on the left. We see Josh Rio. Ball mixes, leaves up two pins. Chris Kaz, five, nine, 10. Rio leaves up the two, four. Rio all over it after wall for a spare. And, and a ball through one. Kaz looking to match. Ball steals the five pin for his spare. his fill. Two, half was the left side. 12 through one. Chris Kaz. Mixing drops the head pin. Leaving up 2-1 split. High piece of wood. Rio two full. See what Chris Kaz can do. Caps the wood. Ball spins around. A pin spins around. Doesn't take it. Both balls looking for an out. Rio will take a seven. 19 through two. Chris Kaz all over it. 27 through two. They'll need to fix his score on the scoreboard. All right. Anchor bowlers are up, and then top of the order, we have Jeff Walsh on the right and Sean Landry on the left. A lot of energy here tonight. Sean Landry's reset's getting a little bit excited. <laughs> All right, I think this is the time when I start telling jokes. So what did the triangle say to the circle? You're pointless. Yeah, that was a that was a bad one. Gonna have to get somebody funnier like Josh Rio over here to start telling some jokes. Josh of Academy Lanes is going back there to fix it.
remember if you're ever missing some bowling there's always plenty of action available on candlepin bowling network as well as the atlantic candlepin singles tour facebook page i believe candlepin bowling network has over a thousand videos in climbing this just recently this past weekend was the pro series event at academy lanes the thrilling final I was there myself to watch it. If you haven't seen it yet, check out Skins on Candlepin Corner. It's a great show. I think they're up to nine episodes now, end of season one. Beautiful. All right, here we see Jeff Walsh and Sean Landry getting up for their first boxes of the second string. Walsh, one-two pocket, leaves up the seven pin. Sean Landry leaves up the six-nine, two pieces of wood. all over it, tending a ball. Landry all over it. He's also tending a ball. After these bowlers finish their two boxes, I will give an update as the current score breakdown. Jeff Walsh dropping seven, eight, Nine, just leaving up the head pin. Sean Landry, just four. 14 through one. Leaving up the one, two, four, six, eight, ten. Off right. And Jeff Walsh picks up his. Puts him at 29 and a ball through two. Landry looking for an out. Plucks out the four pin, seven box, 21 through two. As we go back to the top of the order, it is tied two marks to two marks, but Lafayette has a eight pin advantage due to JT's mark over Matt Susi in box one. John Escarbo drops eight. He's up the 5'10". Scally, a little thin on the head pin, gets a 3-1 split. Escarbo tries to cut it, misses. Scally for his shot in the channel, no good. Both bowls looking for that out here. Nice out nine for Scally. The Skyball will take an eight. Scarbo off right. One, two, four, six, eight, ten. Scally two full. I believe that's the clipped wing eagle. Skybo off left, leaving the one six ten. Scally looking for a cut shot. Nice bid. Just leaves up the 3-4. We 
Michael Scarborough will take a 7.43 through four. Scally an 8.36 through four. Here we see the Dr. Matt Susi and JT Lyonnais, both bowlers on a spare here. JT all over the head pin, 2-1 split. Puts him at 33 through two. Susie, eight drop, 28 through two. JT smacks the wood, nothing's going. Oh, what a bid by Matt Susi. Plays it high. This, uh, seven doesn't go. JT looking for an out. Take a nine. Forty-two through three. Matt Susi a ten. Thirty-eight through three. T off right, leaving the one two ten. Matsusi in the pocket. Five seven ten, the Matsusi special. Let's see if he can do it again. They normally say no wood, no luck, but Matsusi has made this shot before. JT off, leaving up the head stick. Oh, what a bid by Matt Susi. Takes the 5-7. Doesn't carry over to the 10, though. <laughs> JT, 10, 52 through 4. Matt Susi, 10, 48 through 4. What a great bid by Matt Susi on that shot. Kevin Gallagher and Corey Alisi back up. Kevin Gallagher leaves the one, two, 10. Corey off right, pucks out the triangle, leaving a cluster of seven. Kevin off right, hits the wood, nothing showing. Corey on the stick. Puts him at 29 and a ball through two, uh, through three. Kevin Gallagher looking for his out. Kevin Gallagher at 10, 30 through three. Perfect so far. Kevin Gallagher, the setback, 5-4-7. Wood might be coming to help. Corey off left, just three. Puts him at 32 through three. Kevin Gallagher, interesting leave. Plays it on the piece of wood. Leaves it for five. Corey shows us how to play it. 42 and a ball through four. Kevin Gallagher, 40 through four. Corey takes a two pin lead. The two great spares. Head pin, a little bit 
took home, but it did break up. Moving up the the opposite of Rio off the right. Seven ten. Go seven and three. I know I know you don't want three Chris Kev, three marks in a row, Alex. We did have one ten box in there. Oh, it's a ten. Sorry, I, I'm, st I'm still getting used to the scoreboard. I'm sorry, my bad. Two out of three. These are some new scoreboards. They're nice. Sometimes the detection is a little bit off. So make sure you watch it. I bowl here Sunday nights in this room. Kaz, two fill, half was the left side. Check my left side. I'll take a six fill, 35. Cash should have taken a lesson from Corey Elise. He's been making those shots all day. Rio, nice fit. Just leaving the seven. So they're going to be doing a Calipers of Cancer event for the youth, the kids out of the graduate program at Academy Lanes, Pub 125. Seven that graduate of the youth program here, and one that bowled previously, didn't finish it. So we're going to have four and four mixed teams, two men, two women, each side. It'll be December 22nd in Portsmouth. You're it now for the first time here live. It's going to be four and four, three strings, and the averages are even for both teams to combine total. So it's going to be a mix of eight bowlers uh, at Bowler Armour in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, coming December 22nd at 2 o'clock. Yeah, on Canopy Bowling Network on YouTube. We'll have more information on Canopy Chat as soon as we get all the details buttoned down. Good to see the youth get involved. Getting their chance. To, sorry, getting their chance to shine. Get the names out there. So Jeff got no marks the first seven blocks in that first thing. I believe he took the eighth box to get two in a row. Now he's got three out of four here in the second. Yep. Great pinning. Pin, pin, pin. Win, win, win. Academy Lane, Pub 20, 125, Hafe, Massachusetts. Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Canopy Bowling Network. Alex Patton on the play-by-play.
take a 10. How about Kevin Dutrick filling in tonight? Like Got a 145 in the first ring for Mil Ryan Zamillis. Last year, the 12th seed. This year, they're, they're number 10 at 6 and 18. And they're tied with Lafayette technically. After Metro lost, uh, Lafayette lost the first ring here at Academy 1. Kind of John Lescabo, uh, Alex, and he landed came up in singles tour and conquered the bubbles. He threw a 655 last year to match. That guy can kill the balls, but he he's not used to bowling. He's used to bowling five blocks at a time. He's been a league bowler for years, 10 pin bowler also. He's not used to bowling two balls at a time. He's after a better start, he said, this year than last year. I, I never bowled five five strings ever. I bowled two string, th uh, three strings all the time also, and two blo five blocks at a time also. Leagues. Matt won the Atlantic Can Open singles to a Class A championship known as Semi Pro back then, uh, about three seasons ago. Those are Lee Lane's National New Hampshire, and works there as well. He's got four spears, one strike in the match. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that leave. I don't even want to try counting. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
Take a seven. His first non ten box, fifty seven through six. We have Josh Rio and Chris Kaz up. Rio drops nine, leaving up the five pin. Nice plank in front of it. Chris Kaz all over it for a strike. Looks like 59 plus two through five. Josh Rio looking for a spare. All over it. 54 for the ball through five. Academy one is taking the lead back up nine. <laughs> 341 to 332. John Lascarbo back up on lane six. 
Drops eight, leaving up to 5'10". Scally all over the head pin. He leaves up to 5'10". Scally has a lot more wood, but I don't know if it's going to help him. Let's see what these bowlers can do. Escarbo tries to play it on the cap, leaves up to five. Scally's taking a trip to the lumber yard. He needs some wood for his house. Didn't buy any wood with enough push on it. Left up to 10. Escarbo all over it for his 10, 72 through seven. Scally plays the wood. Nothing going. 63 through 6. Look at 7. Let's go. On the pocket. Drops 8. Leaves up 2. Scally. 2 full. That's his second spread eagle of the string. Skybo too far to the right, pucks out the five. Scally looking for a bid here. Oh, what a shot! Scally takes it. Nico, take a video of that one. If we missed Nico, if you didn't get that one, take a video of that one by Scally. A clean spare on a spread eagle. That's a wow. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to have Nico go back and watch that moment. Looks like it's about an hour and a half in. JT making sure his slide's ready before he throws a hammer. I can see it in his hand. He has to figure out which one of the blue and white comets are his. I think there's about three sets up there. JT drops four. Susie. Filling up a spare. <laughs> Off left leaves up the one eight ten. Sits at seventy three through six. JT nothing going. He's up the one three nine. Susi off left. Somehow takes out the 10 from the ball. Leaves up the 1-8. JT, 7, 79 through 7. Susi, the head pin wants the fall. He'll take a 9 box. Puts him at 82 through 7. JT, 1-9-10. Susie, off left. Half was the left side plus the five. Nice shot by JT. 89 and a ball through eight. Susie looking for his out. Take a six box, 88 through eight. All 
right. Kevin Gallagher and Corey Lisi back up. Corey is on a spare. He's looking for 93 pins in these last four boxes to match his first 160 string. Kevin Gallagher on the head pin, the reverse triangle. You hate to see that. Corey on the head pin. Drops six, puts him at 73. Lots of wood there, but I don't know if it's good. Let's see what Kevin Gallagher can do here with this reverse triangle. Tries to play it, wood sliding over. Too short. Corey, oh, what a shot for spare. It's about 83 and a ball through seven. Kevin Gallagher waiting for this wood to stop moving. Nine box, 66. Kevin Gallagher off right, <laughs> leaving up the 1 2 6 10. Corey on his fill. Looks like he holds it a little bit too long. We'll take four. Looks like a half Worcester. Broke up a little bit. 87. Kevin Gallagher just off left, moving up the 1 6 10. Corey on the head pin, leaves up the setback. Beautiful piece of wood though. Makes it a makeable shot. Kevin Gallagher through the hole, seven. 73. Corey will take two for a nine box, 96 through eight. <coughs> Chris Kaz off right drops three. Josh Rio drops six. Leaves up the three, six, ten plus the four. Chris Kaz bouncing ball. Leaves up the seven, ten gold post. Rio. Cuts the pin over, but missed the three. Leaves up the three plus the four. Chris Kaz will take an eight, 81 through seven. Rio will take a nine, 80 through seven. One pin difference between these two bowlers. Chris Kaz just off right, leaves up the one, two, seven. Rio off right, leaves up the four horsemen left side plus the six, eight, ten. Chris Kaz, head stick remaining. Josh Rio, nice bid. Takes it, gets it to go. 90 and a ball through eight.
I like the wood though, Alex, behind the two, four, seven. That could go, but that wood behind might move out of the way, help him out. The 400 club so far, Alex, this season. Danny Harris, 455. The Tsunami, Keith Bopre, 420. Tim Jam and Joblet, 413. Jonathan Madro, 412. Coming into this fourth week. Sean, 45 years young from Lynn, Massachusetts. 118 average, 123 season high. High single, 183, high triple, 451, a high five at 686 on a Metro Bowl in Peabody, Mass. You're familiar with that place, Alex, right? Yeah. Yep. Are you better, th better than your father, the general, Brian Patton? Not yet. My team won his team about a week and a half ago. I did win, but I'm not as good part of my team as well. Jeff Walsh, season highest, average 124, average 160 normally. From Sandown, New Hampshire, originally Somerville, Mass. High single 194, high triple 445, high 5707. Update from Alex Patton. Right, scores, we have six, eight boxes. Academy one up to 26 over Lafayette. We're down at the beginning of the string. We just plug it out and pick that lead back up. Here we see Scally on a spare. Justin's high single 195, high triple 457, has a high five of 706. Now in Salem, New Hampshire, originally from Methuen, Mass. Talked about earlier, born since 1990. That's five spares the match for John Lascarbo. Two here in the second, three in the first. Justin, four spares in the first, one here in the second. Also had a strike in the first string also. Five bucks tonight, baby. And that was a, actually a mark. That's five dollars for Ken for Cancer for John Lascar, boys, on a spare. And no reprieve on the, no mercy on the spare. Nine dollars for Kenilford. Sorry, Alex. Nine dollars for Kenilford for cancer tonight so far.
Corey, eight spares, three strikes to match, a double and a single strike in the first string. Three spares in the first, five here in the second. The fills low, low than he liked, though, a couple of th a three fills on him. A three and a six, rather, earlier. And then a four. I need a 121 for 400 next string.
So John Lescarbo, 215 his first two for Lafayette. Justin Line is JT, 232. Kevin Gallagher, 189 for Academy One. Academy One, Justin Scally, 232, including a 135 first. Matt Susi, 227. Corey Lisi, Mr. Canopin Corner, 160 and a 119, 279. Not bad. He's got two strikes in the match and eight spares. Four in the first, four in the second. Has three spears, one strike here in the second. That gives him three strikes in the match, two here in the string for the Cavs man. Academy one has the first four points though, one in the first two. Commanding lead going to the third. Nice read, buddy. Nice read. That wasn't very problem. 124, 126, 250, Alex for two strings. Not bad. Outside chance, yeah, slim odds. That close. Two fifty four through two, one twenty five and one twenty nine. Final two boxes, Alex. One string after this. Great to work with you again. He's a strikeout. You can see the confidence in Academy One this year, the difference this year. Just more confident, gelling to be together. The chemistry is there. Keep each other loose. That's a good sign. They look like they're ready to be a devastating team. Yeah. A lot of good teams on the Friday Night Pro League. Anybody can win. Yeah, one has won it. One string after this, Alex, to wrap it up. So Jeff, two spares late in the first, five spares here in the second. Sean Landry has three spares, one strike here in the second, two spares in the first. Jeff Walsh, 235 through two. He's in 225 through two. 584 to 559. The caddy one hangs on by 25. Yeah. 
559, what was the other score? 584. Gives him a commanding lead with one screen to go. They're up four points to none. They'll look for the sweep here in the third. Thank you, Alex, for the play-by-play. -play. Paul Grant, Alex Patton on Cannon Bowling Network. Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week, match four of 35 this season, every Friday night on Cannon and Bowling Network on YouTube and or Facebook. Free to subscribe, never a charge. Cannon and Bowling Network on YouTube. Oh, he put the finger up. He can pay if he wants to. <laughs> False start. Gets a giggle out of that one. Final string it away, John LaScarbo. Trying to get at least two points for his team. They did a miracle to split the four points. Capable of doing it, though. They got the talent. Final string underway. Two points for a win, one for tie, two for total. John, nice 10 to start the final string. Scally, a nine, so one pin lead early on for Lafayette. Points they could use. Eighth seed, sorry, Alex. Eighth seed coming in. Scally's team, Canopy one, 16 0 the first two weeks, two and six last week, the third seed coming in. And making, a, making some noise early on the season. John just missing a lot of second shots. Shots he would make at Butwell's. He's not used to bowling the road as much. He's getting used to it, though. He's used to that five box at a time format, so he's getting better. He has a 107 to 108, the first two. Yep. Getting a good rhythm that way, so it's adjustment. It's adjustment. He'll get there. Very competitive. Works for market basket. I believe in Tilton, New Hampshire, he lives. Scally a nine. Let's cover eight, so it's 19-18. Counting one has the lead by one here in the fifth, in the third string. JT Justin Lyon ace for Lafayette Lanes. Buries the pocket, rolls down eight. He's got the four seven wood to help. JT for Amesbury, Massachusetts. 31 years young. He's a chef as for a living. He's worked as a chef. Bowling since 1998. His father was a 110 to 112 average bowler. The high single of 179. His father, Michael, got him involved. Spare. JT has a 113 and the one. A 119 to 113, 232. Matt had a 111 and a 116, 227 through two. Missed that time everything. Susie, nice, almost a 10, nine and three quarters. No fractions in Candle and Bowling, no rounding up. Actually, that was the case, 0.5 or higher. Get a meter, it's halfway down. Nine through one. 28-28 early on in this final string of the match. Thanks for watching. JT on the bonus. Nine drop, 19 through one. Four pin for another one. Susie, good second ball. Leaves up the king. Another wobble there. Won't go. I'd play the wood. I want it. It sucks to me right now. Play bouncy ball. Skip over the wood. JT, another spare. 29 of the ball through two. Eight spares in the match. Susie a 10, 19 through two, 47, 47. One mark for each side. There's not correction, only one mark for JT side. Susie was a 10, not a spare on the board. So it's 19 through two. <laughs> Candle Prince of Cancer, a 5-1-C-3 charity, helped the bowling community by donating via Venmo, Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Any dollar amount helps a bowler or relative going through cancer treatments. Over 62,000 paid out the last several years. Do your part by donating via Venmo. We can send a check, the address on the website, Candlepins number four, cancer.com, or wherever I stream live. <laughs> Candlepins cancer shirts and hats available. The Wow shirts retired at 850 sold, helping 17 families, 22 overall with the merchandise, and 10 in the lemon drop pool. Where's Mongo? 
Kevin Gallagher trying to have a good third string. He struggled tonight so far and punches through. Corey Lisa, 161st and a 119 second, a 121 string for a 400. A chance for a spare with an angle piece of wood. Could be in the problem. Could be a problem in front of the seven. Two pieces touch each other. Now I can get right around it. Gallagher missed the object pin, the two, as the five, six, ten. Corey trying to go right around it. He's going for the wood, and he got it off the wall. Offensive rebound, ten of the ball. Gallagher, nice. Oh, look at that, a sweeping nine. Wow. When things don't go your way, they don't go your way. Gets a giggle out of that one. What a strange nine that was. Nice out for Kevin. Nothing good old-fashioned ride. Corey Lisi. Having a fantastic night. Three spares, three strikes in the first, five spares in the second. One here to start the third. On the bonus. It's going to be eight, the five and the ten. No wood, no luck. 18 through one. Gallagher splits five and two. Trying to work out of this. Great bid. A banana split. Where's Casey McCool once again for the second time? He's hungry. Casey loves banana splits. He's out of Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Everyone loves Casey McCool. Funny guy. Eight for Gallagher. 17 through two. Alisi, great pinning, 10. 28 through two. Needs again, 121 for a 400. Only four have gotten it the first three weeks. Fourth ball is Josh Rio on the left. Chris Kasney, the captain for Lafayette Lanes out of Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. On the right, Tony Levesque on the Magic Man on TikTok covers the matches at home on Friday nights. Tony Bowles, his Facebook site, Tony Bowles. Free to subscribe. 5 2 split for Kaz. Rio off the left gets just three as the eight falls down. Got the four, seven, eight. Kaznay, look at this leaf, 1-3 in front, 4-7-10 right corner. Rio, good second ball, won't go, or will it? It goes the 2, not the 5. Kaznay in the hole, tough 5 to start the final string. Just going to forget about it, move on. Rio, it's like a spear difference there, a 10 to a 5. Actually, average spear fill is 6.3 for Class A ball. It strikes 8.3. Stats by Canelton Bowling Network. 76-69. Seven-pin lead for Academy 1. Looking for the sweep. Kaz held it too long. A six-pack. Check his ID. Rio too far left. Got a break. Steals nine somehow. When you hut, you hut. There's a 124 to 126 so far. Kaz, good at himself. There's a 125 and a 129. Rio for a spare. Knocks it down. 20 to ball through two. Nine spares in the match to go with two strikes. Kaz a nine. 14 through two. Anchor ball is Jeff Walsh. Sean Landry. Third and final string, Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Massachusetts. The Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Canopin Bowling Network next Friday night. A site and a match to be determined. Alex Pat making his debut tonight on Canopin Bowling Network on Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week. We've covered ACST matches in the past. Does a great job. Great heart, great personality, just a great down-to-earth guy. Like father, like son, the general, Brian Patton. The son, Alex, here helping out tonight, doing a fabulous job, as always. Sean Landry drills nine. Walsh on the crossover, seven. Five middle, four, seven left. Sean staring at the ten. Right on it, spare. The setback shot is called up in Canada. This is not an easy shot to go. Doesn't go too often. Pretty when it does. A good try. Hope is to get a ricochet off that wood off the wall. Yep. 
Walsh, a nine in the object pin. 94-88, it's a touchdown lead here in the third for Academy One on the left. The Bulldozer, Jeff Walsh. Pinned really well in that first, end up with a 109. Two spares, five spares in the second, 126. Sean Landry, four from left, the one, two, four, seven, 16 through one. The string is one pin for Academy One right now. It's a score correction, I believe, so check that one. You see the tighter, it's one pin. We'll get the update from Alex Patton after this box. Jeff, four on the left, three, six, ten on the right. Two spares to one, favor Academy One right now, early in the third. Landry just missed inside, has the one and seven. Jeff trying to kick it over, it chops out the six. Three, four, ten. Sean Landry, S-E-A-N, sliced the head pin for nine, 25 through two. And Walsh. Just missed by a smidge for a seven, 16 through two. Update from Alex Patton, the top of the order. How'd your father get the nickname, The General, by the way? I wonder. There's a lot of Paul Grants out there. I don't, I don't know who he is. Scally, 2 7 10, two, a 10 and a 9 start. John Lascar was a 10 and an 8 start. He's got the 4 and the 8. Justin capable of making this. Ooh, just missed inside. Not by much. Lascar will try to work out of this mess and chops out two, has a six pack himself. Galley missed right that time for a seven, 26 through three in the third. Lescarbo, sliced head pin, wraps around the triangle for a seven to match. 25 through three. 110, 109, Lafayette Lanes on the left, up by one in the string, down big in the match. Realistically, looking for two points. And hopefully hang in that top eight spot early in the season. It's 35 weeks though, for the playoffs. Eight teams make it out of 12. Skelly drops the headpin down. Not a headpin officially, as it fell from behind. As the 8 and 9, would to possibly help? He's got four pieces, and I like the look of this. Will he cap it? Will he go with that wood in the middle on the right side or left? He goes left, and it won't go. Jonas, the 6 10 on the right, 7 8 and left. He's got three pieces, bunch formation in the middle. For a spare. Nothing doing there. Wow. It's a laugh out of that one. That's all you can do. Welcome to Candle from Bowling. Justin, a 10, 36 through 4. Lascarbo takes two of the four, leaves at the goal poles for an 8. Just 33 through 4 on Candlepin Bowling Network. Free to subscribe, never a charge. Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Don't forget Candlepin Corner with Skins with Corey Lisi, Jordan Britton. Season 1, Episode 9, out on Candlepin Corner on YouTube. Free to subscribe. That's Candlepin Corner on YouTube. All right, both on spares. JT on the right, on the left now, rather. 29, the ball. Matt Susie 19, the ball through two. Third box, third string. One pin lead now for Academy 1. Susie 7, 8, maybe. Oh, the wood slide. The eight slides towards the nine, it won't go. But a big fill of eight, 27 through two. JT, bombs away, baby! Strike, three marks in a row. 39 through two, 49 plus two through three. He's in tomorrow's match at the number five seed against Ryan Overhaul Southall in the Conference Cancer Variety Top Five Live Show with Mike Warren. Good bid by Susie, can't get to the nine. So JT out of the gates here in the third. Covered him many times, very explosive bowler. Like so many of these pros. Matt a 10. His son Nick is number one seed in the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Class D, Northern Conference. Alex, you're right there, number four seed, as you the other day, coming in. 
You won't be there for long. Good, good confidence. We got Nick on Monday, I believe, also. And, and uh, Putnam Street Lanes against Anthony Carey. Be the Monday or Tuesday. One of those days. I think it's Tuesday. It's my first time going there. It's Fast House. Matt 10, 37 through 3. This team now trails 138, 137. Marks against him as he gets five. That was JT's first strike of the match. First ball on the strike is six, one, four, seven, ten. Susie one, two, four, seven, and nine with a plank in front behind. Trying to drill it through. Oh, wow, what a shot for a spare. 47 of the ball through four. JT, second ball on the strike. Number one is missed. But a big nine, Phil. 58 through three. Nine. Solid start, 67 through four. Matt, 47 of the ball through four. The lead is 10 for Lafayette, 157, 147. Quick up there from Alex in the on the mark situation here. So, so two pending for Academy Ones. They have the virtual lead slightly right now by single digits. If you figure the average fill is 6.5, but anything can happen. Corey Lee's on a fine, fine night. One, three, six, ten, four, it's from right. Here's Kevin Gallagher trying to get something going for himself. Not the only leagues right now, just Friday nights, has the 3-10 mini split. Trying to Century Club for the first time tonight. Elise. Oh, he got it. The wood slides down the six last. Second spear of the third, 38 the ball through three. Kevin won't go. Corey, 10 spares, three strikes, a double, and a single strike in that first. Mr. Canopin corner on a roll. Gallagher, nine, 26 through three. Close here in the third. Kevin has never trailed in the match. They're down nine by now, but Mark's in their favor. Three to none. Elise on the oh, bonus. Beautiful ball for a strike. Eight and a wiggle in the seven. Eight holds strong. 46 through three. Again, 121 the goal for 400. Gallagher, three nine, half whist to right. Hate that shot. Lisa with the wood. Oh, he got it! Offensive rebound, spare! How about that one? Take a video of that one, Nico. Gallagher, nice try, but missed the head pin. Corey, 46 through three now, 56 in the ball through four. In the driver's seat for 400, three spares in the third. Gallagher, nice 10. Kevin's at 36 through four. In the final string of the match. 176, 175. It's a one pin lead for Lafayette, but however, three spares to none against them. One right here from the real turn, the poet, and you know it, Josh Rio on the right. Funny guy. Chris Cantian is the captain of five and a nine start. Alex with the technology and the score cam tonight. Thank you, Alex. Great job as always. Rio head pin it is a 3-1 split. Six on the right, two, four, seven left. Kaz on the head pin, full spread eagle. Six fill for Rio on the spare, 26 through two. They have the lead in the string. Missed inside, not by much, got the four. Two, seven, six right. Kaz trying to get three, gets five, six, spare! Justin Scally, 2.0! They each have a spread eagle tonight, they slap each other, high five! Nico, take a video of that one. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. Five, nine, spare, 24 and a ball through three. Welcome to Kennel and Bowling, folks. What are you gonna get today? Josh is seven after the spare six. Three's a wild, three, 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 33 through three. Cash from Manchester, New Hampshire, 118 league bowler, high single, 189. Rio, strike! 43 plus two through four, Kaz on the crossover. Nine, three pin falls flat on his face. 
33 through three for him also. For another one, yes! After a spread eagle, a nine drop and another spare, 43 and a ball through four. His high single 189, high triple 452, high five 636. Family gun involved, played softball as a pitcher and outfielder. Josh 10, 43 through four, Kaz 43 and a ball through four, going back to back here on the final string. 205, 198. Seven pin lead for Lafayette Lanes out of Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. On the road. Marks are against him right now. Three to one. Here's the Bulldogs, Jeff Walsh. Just missed right. Four horsemen in a triangle. Here's Sean Landry. 25 after two. And he's got a 3-1 split. Maybe. No, the seven falls. Even better. 3-6-10. Good chance here. Just over one and two times he's go without wood for Class A bowlers. 51%. Sats by Canopy Milling Network. Walsh, the Augusta Main special, the 1 7 10 in Augusta Main. Landry just missed outside. Sean Bones is age 10. He's thrown five strikes in a row once in his career. They might need that for total. Walsh, nice 10 though. Channel 5, high low jack. 26 through 3. Landry, a 9. 34 through 3. Show him on the 2013 Five Man Massachusetts State Tournament title. Played baseball and, bas baseball and basketball. His hobbies is cantaloupe and bowling. Walsh, beautiful ball for a strike. Nine, maybe. Oh, the eight won't go. Ten right corner. Landry with nine. Ten, strike. Slow motion strike. 44 plus two in the fourth. Sean's second strike of the match. Have one in the second. Interesting wood for Walsh. Four pieces. Can he bulldoze it over? No, the wood ricocheted in front of the 10. Thought he had it. Lafayette fighting for two points tonight. Walsh at 10, 36 through 4. Update from Alex Patton, top of the order. John Lascarbo overdue for a string. Big string here after a 33-3-4 start as the 3-6 chance. Captain Justin Scali for Academy 1. A generous leave. 1-3-6. Fifth box. Third string. Academy Lanes. Pub 125. Haverhill, Massachusetts. John can't get it to go. Just off a little bit slightly. Scali to answer for a spare. He missed left. Brilliant first string for him. 135. Stock market correction, the second, 97. The Scarborough, nine, just 42 at the half. No marks yet. Scally takes two of the three for nine. Puts him at 45 at the half. No marks for him either. Corey Alicia, 160 first string, 119 second, is up third. Needs a 121 for 400. He's at 56 in the ball through four. As Lascarbo drops five. Scally, beautiful pocket shot, nine. Wood trolls away from the five, the king. Lascarbo trying to work out of it. Oh, what a shot for a spare. Can't make the simple one sometimes. On the board here in the third, he's got six spares in the match. Scally, a spare to answer. 55 and a ball through five. He's on the board here. Six pairs, one strike the match for the captain. 243, 237. Lafayette on the left, on the right rather, up by six. Justin Line ace set a spare nine, spare strike. 
Three spare, two spares and a strike in a row. 58 through three, now 68 through four, coming into its fifth box. 7-8, Wood to help. Susie, Matt with two tees. One, two, four, seven. Has on a spare. Six, 53 through four. JT, another spare. 78 half plus a ball. Lucy to answer, missed inside. All but number one. And all of a sudden, Lafayette has four marks on the board. To three for, La for Academy One. Susie a nine. Solid 62 half. And here comes Lafayette Lanes trying to get their first win tonight here in the third. Total, uh, we'll need a big finish. Long odds. JT on the left side, four. 82 half. Nothing wrong with that. Susie. A diamond, 27% conversion rate without wood. Stats by Kenneth and Bowling Network for Class A Bullards. JT on the six pack, leads up the one, five, and the nine. Matt chops up the five. 3-6-9 behind the three. JT hit the head pin for an 8-90 through six in the final string of the match. He's the reason why they had the lead here in the third. Matt, an eight, leads up the three and the nine. 70 through six on Canopin Bowling Network. 265, 260, a tight one here in the third. Lafayette has the lead by a right handful. Five pins. Or a left-handed five pin lead. Kevin Gallagher, tough night for him. 97, 92 so far, 36 through four. He's got a six pack. Bulls like the drink. Corey Lisi, what a night he's having. 56 in the ball through four. On the bonus, right side, five. 60, make it 61 through four. On, his, on pace for a 400 plus. Gallagher off track again, 158. Elise, what a shot! Magnificent spare! 71 of the ball through five, wow! Eight for Gallagher, 44 half. Now Academy One punching back. It's 275, 273, they're up by two in the string. Total in hand pretty much at this point. Gallagher looking for Mark, crossing over and another tough leave. Look at this. Alicia on the bonus. Off to the right, the dreaded half, Worcester two. Still a great 73 half. Gallagher trying to work out this mess. Alicia, one in five chance here. Wood spins back for the six and ten. One, seven, eight. Gallagher with the wood, <laughs> nothing for an eight, 52 through six. <laughs> Kenneth in corners, Corey Lisi, free and YouTube subscribe with an eight, 81 through six. He'll need four tens, Alex, get to 400. Another mark would certainly help. And was it Chris Kaz or he had a five tens and one half last string, right? Was it Kaz had five tens in a row to start? Last string, I believe it was. Kevin Gallagher had five tens, that's right. And he, had, and he only got a 92 that string. He pinned really well that first half. And speaking of the Cavs, man, the captain, back-to-back -back spares, 43 in the ball. Josh Rio on the left, 43 plus two. Nine of the wiggle on the four. 52 through four for Cavs. Rio the realtor. Wobbling four falls. A big break, the 10. That close to a double strike. Cash for a spare, way off to the right. Can Rio take advantage of his situation? For a spare, knocks it down. 62 in a ball through five, and the Cavs for the Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third. Ever a good time for that, Alex? Well, actually, if you're winning, it's good. That's the only time it's good. <laughs> Help me out here. 
No mercy. 62 half a Kaz. Playing bouncy ball. Skip lobbed, which is legal. Dropped the ball on the foul line. Two in the eight. Josh Rio, a strike, now a spare. Only three. 66 half. Their team has the lead by double digits now. Kaz, that's why I hate the half west again. Punch out the one nine. Brutal. Rio, smooth ball. Will it go? No. Seven pin holding strong. Kaz, tough five. Hit a five to start in the first, a five in the sixth. What a strange game. 67 through six, still over the minimum. Rio and nine, 75 through six on Candlepin Bowling Network. Executive producer is Bob Lee. Saturday, October 5th, it's the ICBA Championships from Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. 12 noon start. Why not support all the bowlers? $1,000 first place prize, paying three spots this year for the first time. Come up to the Big 20, root on the bowlers from Western Massachusetts, New England, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine. Men and women, Candlepin Bowling Network with Greg Guiar and myself. Live coverage on YouTube, Candlepin Bowling Network, Saturday, October 5th, noontime, followed by Candlepin for Cancer, any doubles roll offs at 3.30. Starts next Tuesday and Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, and October 12th. Candlepins number four, cancer.com to register. Sean Landry in a strike. He gets two. Jeff Walsh looking for his first mark, 36 through four. One, three, eight, nine, ten. Landry, six in the strike. 50 through four. Walsh with wood behind. Oh, just missed a nine. Landry a nine, 59 through five. Walsh takes it down for a 10 to gain a pin, 46 half without a mark. Past the halfway point of the final string. Thanks for watching. Share with your friends and family. More importantly, get them out to bowl. Nothing like this great and unbelievable game of Candlepin Bowling, a sport for almost any age. Bowls now hundreds bowl this game. Landry for a strike, nine the wiggle again on the four. Walsh, nice ball, setback shot. Sean for a spare, missed it badly. Not typical miss by that much by him. It happens though. Walsh, ooh, feel a breeze back here in that one, all the way back here. Wind gust. How close is that to the five, Alex? That may have gone. Wow. Talk about a hurricane warning. That was a bulldozer breeze. And in the hole again, this time for a seven. 53, six rather. Sean, nine, 68 through six. That means it's an update at the top of the order with Alex Patton. Top of the order, Justin Scally. Both on spares. Scally first. Five. We've seen a lot of these tonight. 60 at the, through six at the minimum. John Lascaro, 52 in a ball through six. Looking for a big one here. He buries the pocket and gets rewarded with a clipped wing eagle. He gets a five, Phil. 57 through six. Scally trying to kick it over. What a try. Wood sails around the nine. Won't go. John trying to go two and a three. Oh, what an effort that was. Two and the four. Justin knocks it down for a 10. 70 through seven. Lascarbo, object pin for a nine. 66 through seven here in the final string of the match. Eighth box, third string, Haverhill, Massachusetts. 
Scally on the crossover. It's going to be eight and a push the seven towards the channel. Won't go. Unbelievable. Six and a seven. I like the wood. Two pieces. John half Worcester, two in the eight. Just, don't you just love that shot, Alex? What's your least favorite shot? Try and kick it over a spare. He got it. Sorry, Alex. Eighty to ball through eight for Justin Scally, the captain for Academy One, trying to get six points for the second week in a row. Have to go at eight and zero the first two weeks. The third coming in. John one three four seven left. Smooth shot knocks them all down for a ten. Seventy six to eight. Quick update from Alex Patton. The mark situation's pending, and the score in the string. One eight ten. Yes, Justin Lineys. Look at this. I don't see this too often. Look at this. That fence leaf. Two open fence. Two four seven six nine right. Who opened the gate? Look at this one. How often do you see this one, Alex? Not too often. What a strange leaf. What a strange game. Susie, nice ball. All oh, the wood hits it twice for a spare. 80 the ball through seven, power ball time. JT gets the three, has the 6-9. Matt's third spare of the third. He's got eight in the match. JT and nine. 99 through seven. Get the word up about this great game of Canlip and Bowling. Nothing like it. Tell your friends and family, Candle Point gift cards are a great way to do it all year round, not just the holidays. Susie on the bonus, in the pocket, it's going to be eight. Wobbling four, wobbling ten. 88 through seven. JT, strike, bombs away, baby. 109 plus two in the eighth. Two strikes here in the string. One hundred nine plus two through JT, the number five seed, Kale Fitz for Cancer, top five variety show tomorrow, or well, maybe today when you hear this broadcast. Susie, what a try! Won't go. The ten pin once again, not having it. Matt gets to go with the wood for a ten. Ninety-eight, ninety-eight through eight in the third and final string. 387, 372, the lead is 15 for Academy One, trying to go 8 0 for the third time in four matches to start the season. 8 0, 8 0, 2 and 6, the first three matches. Lafayette 8 and 16 after a tough first week. Nice comeback last week. Corey Lisi having a great night in the pocket, needs four tens for a 400. A mark would help. Has a check mark. Kevin Gallagher. Wobbling seven and ten, and just a lot of tough luck tonight for him. Lisey Spare and the four to watch, looking good now. 91 on the ball through seven. Four spares in the third. Gallagher with the wood, got the West Coast, not the East Coast. Corey's high single, 175, high triple, 419. Could still get there tonight. High five, 655. Gallagher, a 10, 62 through 7. I kept saying Corey's been bowling great the last half of last season. Bowled well in the Atlantic Canal Open singles tour against Steve Poulin in week one. In Class A Northern Conference. Again, Candlepin Corner, free to subscribe on YouTube, his channel with Jordan Britton and others featuring Candlepin Skins out of Lita Lanes. Season 1, Episode 9 out. Also be on the WN Sports Network with Candlepins for Cancer as well. Five in the spare, 96 through 7. 
Gallagher off the head pin. One, two, four, eight behind the two. <laughs> Alisi for a spare. Cherry is the three. Gallagher for a spare. Missed left, one of the eight. Frustration continues. A lot better than he's showing tonight, obviously. Corey, nice eight. Tough shot to make there. 104 through eight. He needs 17 in the next two to get to 400. Kevin Gallagher, a nine. 76, correction, 71 through eight. 71 through eight. Fourth ball is a five. Josh Rio, 75 through six. Kaz on the left, 67 through six. 410, 391. Academy one on the right, up by 19 in the string. They won the first. They won the second. Can they win the third? Or does Lafayette have an answer? Josh, 2 4, 6 10. Kaz spins down, 7, not bad. 1 3 in the 7. I like the wood behind the 2 4 for Rio, trying to get to the 6 10. Looks good. Oh, somehow the 6 didn't go. Great try. Cast the answer, sliced and diced like Jersey Mike's, but couldn't get to the seven. Josh, 10, 85 through seven. Kaz in the channel for a nine, 76 through seven, late in the third. 420, 401, the lead is inch up to 19 for Academy One, looking for the sweep. We'll talk to the winning team before we sign off. Josh, nice ball, but look at this one. Ugly, 4, 8, 9, 10, a decent wood between the 4, 8. Could kick over somehow. Go outside that 4 on the left. And that's what Captain Scally says. Chris has a good chance of the wood here. Two pieces between the 4 horsemen and the 9 behind the 3. Rio for a spare. Oh. A little more outside. Would have gone. Maybe. Cast for a spare. That goes. Ten falls last. Making a charge. 86 in the ball through eight. Third spare, the first spare of the string for Kaz. Correction, second spare of the string. Rio and nine. 94 through eight. Quick update from Alex Patton. Jeff Walsh on the crossover, wobbling nine to the right, on the far left rather. Six right, nine left. On the right side I should say. Landry in the pocket, look at this sleeve. The hay bale, the bucket of five, the starlight five, the diamond plus the seven and the 10. Walsh for a spare, oh. That is a tough two pin to make the angle one especially. They look simple, don't they? 51%, the average rate for Class A bowlers without wood. To convert, stats by Kenneth and Bowling Network. Sean, 2 5 10. Walsh, a 10, but who needs the wood? 63 through 7 in the third. Sean Landry, a nice 10. 78 through 7. Twenty-two pin lead for Academy One right now. Two marks to one for Lafayette. Total out of reach. Lafayette is going. The best they can do is two points. Realistically, let's say put a bunch of strikes together. Walsh steals seven, maybe eight, maybe nine, maybe ten. The Julian strike almost. The Hippins last to fall. Sean Landry buries the pocket nine. Friendly Wood in front of the six. Walsh for a spare, yes! 73 in the ball through eight. Landry answer, knocks it down, spare! 88 in the ball through eight. Final two boxes, update from Alex Patton.
the two four five sevens I looked at, one where I put it in a fucking hole. That was not as wide as a bowling ball. <laughs> what a great sport. Candlepin Bowling for any age. Please support your local bowling centers. Invest in Candlepin Bowling. Youth leagues on Saturdays. Senior leagues during the day. Adult leagues also at night. Contact your local bowling center for more information. Never too late to bowl. Candlepin Bowling. It's unbelievable. John Scarborough, 76 to 8. Justin Skelly, 80 in a ball. One or two marks for his team. Close match to our left side, Academy 3 and Millis. Six pin lead in the match. For Academy 3, they lost the first. Scally on the bonus. Takes down the nine and back. Wood slides the four closer. One, two, rearrange four, seven. That's a bonus of six. 86 through eight. Lascarbo with Diamond. Missed the arch pin again. Second ball blues all night long. Scally from the mark. Yes! Seven goes last. Back to back. 96 in the ball through nine. Lascarbo in eight. 84 through nine. Academy one wins the string. They'll go to 26 and six. Be guaranteed at least third place. They were coming in. We know Central three tied for a string earlier. I haven't heard anything else since then. With Central 1, the fourth seed. Two behind Academy 1 coming in. Lescarbo just the 6 9 10. Scally on his second. Spare 5. Frustrated with the clip wing eagle. Spare 6, spare 5. 101 through 9. Lescarbo, nice bid. Can't get the 3 5 to go. Best he can do is 94. Justin tried to go 2 and a 3. Missed the object pin, the 3. John Lascarbo to Butwell's Bowling Center, Concord, New Hampshire. Candlepins for Cancer Rollers in March 2025 on nine. Open rollers, 93 final string. And just 308 total. Gonna take, Justin Lyons can take a look at that wood. I don't know if it looks, it looks okay from here, but I can't really tell for sure. It might be just over the line a little bit. And I guess it is. Not by much. <laughs> Still, I try and get to 111 somehow. <coughs> A nice out nine, 110, final strength for Justin Scally. 332 total for three. It might be good enough for eight points, though. Eight boxes, quick update in the score and the mark situation, both sides for Alex Patton. Eight boxes to go. Thanks for watching this great game of Candlepin Bowling from Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Mass. Just nice spins back for the 6-10 on a strike. 1378. So 115 plus 2 coming into this frame. Or box. Matt Susie. Oh, we've got a big broke of the triangle somehow. Where'd that come from? Pull the chain. JT, tough shot. Oh, what a try. Slammed the brakes on in front of the seven. Nine in the fill, 118 through eight. Matt's got a sea of wood, four pieces. Can go right around it. The wood looks good, though, for a spare. But when in doubt, go for the pin. Wood's never a guarantee. He's using the wood, though, and he got it anyway. 108 in the ball through nine. JT, a 10. 128 through nine. Caddy one trying to hang on. They're up right now, double digits. Two marks for each side. JT 
One, two, seven, eight, ten. Another one falls. Now it's the one, seven, eight, ten. Susie, six, nine, ten on the spare three. One, eleven through nine. Line A's. What a shot for a spare. Timely one. One thirty-eight in the ball in the tenth. Tuning up for count fits for cancer in the morning. The any ball, any five string variety. One ball first, two ball second. Normal third string, three, six, nine. Strikes in the third, six, ninth in the fourth, and a nine pin in the fifth. The fifth seed against Ryan Southall. Can't up the network on YouTube. Susie at eight. 119 final string. That was his highest average for a season. 346 to three. Line A's off the head pin. Looks like five. Nothing wrong with the 143 final string for Justin Lyon is and a nice night of 375. <laughs> Kevin Gallagher overdue for something here. 71 through eight. Just a tough, tough night. But a very great bowler. Nice ball there. Breaks the diamond. Wobbling triangle. The two wobbling four and the five to the right. Corey Lisi on the four to watch. Needs 17. The next two to get there. There's seven. Two, four and the six to the right. Gallagher. Much needed spare. Looks good. Off the wall. No. Wow. That kind of a night. Lisi can clinch it here pretty much. <laughs> on the object pin. Didn't get the kick. Kevin Gallagher at 10, 90, uh, 81, 81 through 9. Corey going for 1, does for 9. Big pins, 113, 8 for a 400. Only need a double strike to get his high triple for his career. Which is 419. Gallagher, 189, the W. At least he can do it here. He has five. Three pins away out of the five. We'll talk to Corey before we sign off. Kevin Gallagher missed again. Oh, he steal it. No. Eight holds up. Stole the head pin. Trying to get to 91. Alisi. 400 it is. The fifth one pending other action tonight to get 400 in the first four weeks. What a night for Mr. Caleb and Corner, Corey Lisi. <laughs> Doing it for nine, 122. And what a performance, 401 for Caleb and Corner's Corey Lisi. It's a 122, right? Yep, 401. <laughs> Brother Spencer, give a big hug. Yeah, you better acknowledge him. We'll talk to Corey Lisi, uh, Alex, before we sign off. All right, quick update from Alex Patton. The mark situation, the lead, late in the third. How big is the strike here, Alex? A little thin on the crossover. Takes down six. Decent wood, though. Seven, five, nine, ten. Left to right. Josh Rio, 94 through eight. Generous leave, one, three, six. Final four boxes. Thanks for watching. Kaz for a mark. Sweeps it over. And the 10 won't go. The six fill gave 92 through eight. Real three in the six. Big sticks here. Kaz, a 10, 102 through 9. Rio, a 9, 103 through 9. Three boxes to go, an exciting third string. 527, 516, 11 pin lead for Academy 1. One spare if the anchor ball is coming up, coming up next. Kaz could help out with the mark here. Try to get two points, total out of reach. 
That's been most of the night. 3-6-10, Friendly Wood in front. Rio, beautiful ball off the wall. The setback, unreal. Cats, big shot for a spare. Got it! Huge! 1-12 on the ball on the 10th. High piece of wood could give more of a bounce. This would be something. Rio with the wood, good try. Now it's two marks to one for Lafayette. Big 10 for Rio, 113 final string. 363. Kevin Gallagher at a 90, just 279. You won't see that too often for him, if ever again. Big sticks here for Kaz on the spare. Domino six. 118, final string for the captain. 372, a good night. Two blocks to go. One spare for each anchor bowlers. Quick update again from Alex Patton. Sean Landry, the visiting team on the road, trying to pull this off for two points. And the bonus is four. That doesn't help. Temporarily, it's down to one, but Walsh on a spare to add to it. 92-3 for Landry. The bulldozer, Jeff Walsh, for Academy One. His home lanes on lane five. Nice ball, but he gets a cliff wing eagle. He gets five. The lead is five. Or is it six now? Six for Academy One. 78 through eight. Landry, tough shot. What a try. Will Jeff go two into three for a spare? He's going for it, and he got the two. It slides over, it runs out of room. Coming down to the final box. What else is new? Sean Landry, a big 10, 102 through nine. Jeff Walsh, 10 to match. One box to go, 88 through nine. And the lead right now is the scoreboard showing six. That's correct. 552 to 546. Low scoring, no marks. Final box. Lafayette Lanes needs to mark. Landry, a strike is huge. And a clip wing eagle of all times. Got to get it somehow. Walsh can put it away here with a thunderous strike. He crosses over eight. Like his odds. Five in the nine. Try to go 8 0 for the third time in four matches after 2 and 6 last week. Landry, good try, won't go and left yet. Loses all eight to the home team. Academy holds on. 8 0 sweep. Walsh for good measure, spare. 98. 98, the ball in the 10th. Didn't need it. 10 for Landry. 112, final string. 347 for three. A correction. 337 for three. Jeff Walsh, 109, 126, trying to get to 108 with a strike on spare to wrap up this thrilling third string. And he'll get seven. Five over 100. That brings us to 340 for three. Let's get an update from Alex Patton on the scores, the matches. We'll talk to Corey Lisi before we sign off. So Lafayette, Lafayette Lanes drops from 8th place tonight. They go to 8 and 24. Academy 1 stays in 3rd minimum. They can go higher. They're 26 and 6 pending an extras match tonight and, extra, and Central 3's match tonight. Uh, let's talk to Corey Lee if we can. We get the microphone to go down there or is it going to come back here? Mr. Kenneth and Corner, Corey Lisi. Great night tonight. Thanks, Paul. Hey, 
Yeah. All right, this is before a pleasure. Talk about Candlepin Corner first of all, before we talk about the match tonight. Yeah. Candlepin Corner, YouTube. Uh, it's YouTube.com slash at Candlepin Corner. Candlepin Skins. Move the, move the tape date. The tape date to uh, October. It's a little slow month in September, but we got whole season one. Great match, and uh, episode nine is excellent. All the episodes are, so go watch one through nine, but we end on a great note with there. So, but that's enough about that. I've been saying uh, the second half of last season, you just really caught fire towards the end of the season. You start great this year also. Your team is red hot 8-0, 8-0. No, no. Setback last week 2-6. and six. You take eight points tonight, and you're in third place with a 26-8 record pending other action today. What has been the difference for you this season personally? With a yeah. 401 tonight I mean, and a 160 first. Yeah, it's it's. I had this kind of last year streaky bowling that I'd go throw a big game and I'd have a, a dud in there. Tonight I just kind of stayed level headed. I got some good breaks. I threw an, an iffy ball game too. I, I think I was like two for ten on the headpin game too. I just happened to capitalize on some of the uh, the drops I did get. So. But you had two triangles. You hit the object pin both times. Didn't go. You got a bounce for another one. You almost had a. You could have had 190, 200 that first string. Yeah, yeah. It's and that's that's candle pin though. It's gonna happen. You gotta have a couple that go, a couple that don't, and. Uh, that's why game one I had a couple that didn't go. Game two I got a couple of breaks that shouldn't have gone that did. So it just all comes out in the wash. Not bad. A 161st, you had a 119 second and a 122 third string. Three letter word for going 8 0. Oh. Wow. All right, Corey Lisi, Paul Grant for Alex Patton to wrap it up. Thanks for watching this great game. Oh, Ken Bowen, back to Alex Patton to wrap it up. All right, guys, thank you for watching the great game at Candlepin Bowling. This was Candlepin Bowling Network, Friday Night Pro League Academy 1 versus Lafayette. Say 8-0 sweep, 1792 to 1671. Remember to watch Candlepin Bowling, watch Candlepin Bowling Network, watch the ACST. I'm bowling Sunday, 4 o'clock, Riverwalk Lanes. It should be streamed on the ACST Facebook page. Come on, watch it. It should be a good match. And that's it for now. I will see you the next time.